Good morning, everyone. Today is May 7th, 2020. Happy Thursday to you. It is almost Friday. The week is almost over. It is flying by. I hope you have been having a great week at home and learning lots. Let's go ahead and get our morning routine started right with our class promise. You know what to do. Zippity doo da, zippity yay. My oh my, what a wonderful day. Plenty of sunshine had my way. Zippity doo da, zippity yay. Awesome job, everyone. We know that for the month of May, we are celebrating Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. And we are doing that with our We Are Inspiring book to read about some awesome Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders who inspire us. So let's turn to the page that we will be reading about today. And it is Patsy Mink. Ooh, I like her name. It's very funky sounding. She was born in 1927 and she passed away in 2002. Patsy Matsu Takimoto Mink was born on December 6, 1927 in Maui, Hawaii. Her parents are Nisei or second generation Japanese Americans, making Patsy a Sansei or third generation Japanese American. So that means that her grandparents were born in Japan, but her parents were born in America and she was born in America. In 1948, Patsy completed her bachelor's degree in zoology and chemistry from the University of Hawaii and dreamed about becoming a doctor. However, none of the medical schools she applied to would accept women. She thought that the best way to force medical schools to accept women would be through a, the judicial process. So she went to law school. Even after passing the bar exam, Patsy had trouble finding work as an attorney due to gender discrimination. That means because she was a girl, they treated her differently. So Patsy started her solo practice and became the first Japanese-American woman to practice law in Hawaii. In 1964, she became the first Asian-American woman and the first woman of any ethnic minority to be elected to the United States Congress, when she ser where she served six consecutive terms, or 12 years. In 1970, she became the first Democratic woman to deliver the, a State of the Union response. Pas Patsy spent her career fighting for her dreams, and in succeeding, she paved the way towards gender equality. And she was a Japanese-American lawyer and politician. Very cool. And there's her picture. So our word of the month is inspire. So we are focusing on how Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders inspire us. So I am definitely inspired by Patsy Mink because she saw that she wasn't being, being treated fairly, not only because she was Japanese American, but also because she was a woman. And she said, absolutely not. So she went out and made her own practice for law and ended up setting the bars, sorry, for paving the way for other women and other Asian American women to practice law as well. So love that. So how can you be inspiring to others? How are you inspired? And what inspires you to be the best version of yourself? These are all things that we are thinking about this month of May. All right. Our quote of the day is by Lisa C. And she says, read a thousand books and your words will flow like a river. I adore this quote. One, because it has to deal with books and duh, Miss Oss loves books. But also because people are always asking me, Miss Oss, how do I be a better writer? Miss Oss, how can I be a better speller? Or Miss Oss, how can I, you know, follow grammar rules and make sure that all my tenses are right? You read. That's the number one way to be a better writer, a better speller, better with your grammar, and of course a better reader is to read. So I just love that she said, read a thousand books and your words will flow like a river because if you keep reading, your writing is gonna get better and better and better because you'll have all of these awesome words in your mind that you've read from reading books. Our Better Together Challenge is let someone know so let someone you love know how much they mean to you. And of course, it is also written in Japanese on your lesson plan if you'd like to see what that looks like. So I know these times can be a little bit scary, but I want you to tell someone that you love how much they mean to you today, whether that's a teacher, a parent, a sibling, a pet. I'm going to say that I love you guys. You guys are my first class ever. You are my babies. You are always going to have a special place in my heart for the rest of of my life so that means so much to me and you mean so much to me so make sure you tell someone you love today how much they mean to you for our language of the month it's japanese we're counting to 10 in japanese 
and we are going to be doing some jumping jacks today, counting to 10 in Japanese. So let's get our bodies warmed up and ready for the day and let's get started. Let's see if you can see me. Ichi, ni, san, shi, go, rocko, chichi, hachi, ku, ju. Oh my goodness, I hope your blood is pumping and you are ready to get this day started. I will see you later, boys and girls, and have a fabulous start to your day. Bye!